Hi friends, Siberia here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a checklist of things that you may want to get done before a dawn trail. So let's just get started, and number one is buying a new graphics card and possibly an entirely new PC. I'm just kidding, but unfortunately for some of you, maybe the graphics update is going to be a little rough, but good luck to everyone. The real number one is cleaning out your inventory. Anything you have in here that is maybe junk, like I really don't need these things anymore, would be a good idea to clear out. I think you're especially going to want to clean out your gear inventory, your uh, armory chest, because we're probably going to be getting, while well, we are going to be getting new gear in Dawn Trail, new weapons, and since we're getting two new jobs, I mean, look, mine's pretty full here. If I decided to play Viper and picked a mancer. I don't have a lot here. So definitely look at your uh, armory chest especially and get that cleaned out. So uh, that's not the only inventory that you should clean out. You should also go ahead and clean out your chocobo saddlebag. Mine's not looking too bad but definitely take a peek at yours. Maybe clean it out. Same thing with retainers. Look at those inven uh, inventories for your retainers. See if you've got any junk in there that you don't need. So that way, if you have things that you don't want to get rid of in your armory chest, maybe you want to hold on to your uh, Thyrus Nexus here, but you never use it, you can give it to your retainer for a little while. Next, you may want to consider cleaning out or at least organizing your Glamour Dresser. So it is very likely that we are going to be getting more space in our glamour dresser at least i hope so i would assume they're gonna give us some more space come dawn trail but there's also going to be gears including gear that is already in the game that is going to have two die channels so you may find yourself liking certain gear that maybe before you were like oh i would wear this all the time if only i could dye it a different color so maybe you didn't feel like it was worth it to have it in here and there's just a chance that you're gonna have a lot more gear than maybe you once did so you might want to consider seeing if there's anything in here that either you don't want or that can be moved elsewhere so remember that mog station items can all go into your armoire similarly event items can go into your armoire and also level 50 artifact gear can go in your armoire. Um, finally, if you have any race clothing that you have in your glamour dresser, especially if it's something that you never wear, like I don't wear this gown, or if it's a race that you can't actually use, maybe you fantasied. So if you're an Ora and you have a cat girl. Uh, gear <laughs> like race gear then you'll want to take care of that and just get rid of it and open up those slots if you are planning on playing a viper or a pictomancer then you may want to spend some time farming poetics and head to the crystarium to talk to moen's merchant where you can get crypt lurker gear either of casting or scouting depending on which one or perhaps both if you're planning to play both now, these new jobs will be starting at level 80, which is why it can be nice to just already have this on hand rather than having to farm it when Dawn Trail drops. So if you're planning on playing one of those, this can be a good idea. If you want to go a step further, you can also go to Catissus Hyperborea and farm that gear because it is item level 542, which is enough of a jump up from this to possibly be worth getting. I mean, you can go without it. It's really up to you how much you want to do. And speaking of tombstones of poetics, not only can it be helpful to farm them in order to get that level 80 gear, once Dawn Trail drops, the level 90 gear will also be available for poetics. So you should probably max those out before Dawn Trail drops, which is June 28th if you've pre-ordered or July 2nd if not. And you should probably also max these other tombstones if you can, because they will become exchangeable here at Oriana in Mordona. Um, one thing to note is I don't remember what they become. I don't remember if they become poetics or if they're going to become 
a limited number like if you have 2000 you get like a fraction of that of the new tombstones but they are going to be useful and they are going to be able to be exchanged for some kind of useful currency so if you have the time it can definitely be worthwhile to max out all of your tombstones and along the same lines it can be a good idea to get your crafter and gatherer scripts max as well these are actually going to be changing in dawn trail uh, they're going to be removing everything but the purple ones so you will be able to exchange the other ones for purple ones and i believe you can also do that here in mordona at the script exchange another thing to note is that there might possibly be new things that you can buy for scripts in dawn trail so that could be another reason to max them out so if you have the time again this is something that could be worthwhile next it would be a good idea to do wondrous tales ahead of time so that once dawn trail drops you can turn it in for exp whether you're leveling up one of the new jobs or you just want a little boost on your way to 100. So you'll get your book from Chloe Alia Poe here in Idleshire and I would recommend getting it on Tuesday, June 18th or perhaps a couple days later. You just want to get it that week so that you can prep it and then turn it in to Chloe once Dawn Trail drops. And then once you turn that one in, you can actually get another one and you can work on that one once Dawn Trail drops if you want to, but at the very least, you will have one ahead of time that you can be working on. Another thing you can prep ahead of time if you want to is your challenge log. So any of these that are giving actual uh, EXP, so you won't want to do <laughs> the PVP ones, but like battles, fades, I believe love quests all give EXP. You can do this ahead of time. So Dawn Trail is dropping on June 28th, which is a Friday. So you can basically do this starting on Tuesday, but you have to be careful because you see complete three dungeons, complete five dungeons. Obviously you're only gonna be able to do like two dungeons. So you have to be careful that you don't overdo it, but you can prepare some of these ahead of time if you want to, and then go ahead and finish them off once Dawn Trail drops. Again, this is just a way to get an EXP boost. So I actually had this video done and just had a few finishing touches when I got word that they confirmed in the live letter they will be increasing by color gemstones to 1500. If you don't know what those are, they are a reward you get from doing fates in Shadowbringers, Endwalker, and now Dawn Trail areas and you can exchange them from certain NPCs for different rewards. So this one would be worthwhile to max out before Dawn Trail drops just because if they put out any new rewards right away, which they probably will, you will have some gemstones to spend. Also, a lot of times they will put crafting materials for bicolor gemstones, and especially when those crafting materials are new, as they will be in Dawn Trail, and they will be required to make new things that people want, you can sell those and make some gills. So it's definitely worth your time to do the bicolor gemstones. If that is something that you think you have time for, definitely worth doing. Another thing you might want to consider doing is maxing out your hunt currency, which right now is the sacks of nuts. Now, in the past, they changed the currency about every two expansions, so we are due for a change in currency. So this is one of those things that this would be a risk for you. Uh, to, it could be you could be wasting your time, is what I'm trying to say. If you do this, there is a slight possibility that they'll continue with nuts and having them maxed out will mean once again that if there's any new rewards you'll already have the currency you need to spend and buy those rewards but again there is a decent chance kind of a roll of a dice here that they will change the currency and this will have been a waste of your time so that one's completely up to you whether you want to do that or not and finally the last thing you want to do and this is very important you need to check your hard drive and see how much space you have. They are recommending 140 gigabytes total for Dawn Trail. This is a big one. Okay, so make sure 
that your hard drive is all clean and ready and that you have space for the game. Otherwise, you're going to be, because here's the thing is if you're deleting or moving lots of stuff off of one disc from another, that can take time. Sometimes that can take you like hours to do. So make sure ahead of time that you have all the space that you need for Dawn Trail so that when it drops, you're not sitting there for hours trying to find space for it. You can just download the game and play it. So those are all of my recommendations or ideas for things that maybe you want to do or get done before Dawn Trail. If I've left anything out that you guys can think of, then please let me know in the comments. As always, please consider leaving a sacrifice to Lord Algorithm in the form of a like, comment, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting me. And as always, thank you to everyone for watching. Bye!